What's going on guys? It's Investing Hustler here and today I read a very interesting article about India Globalization Capital, that's IGC. And this is actually some very bad news for IGC shareholders. So let's go straight to the article. This is going to be a very quick video. I'm just going to read you guys the article. I'll give you guys my thoughts. And also I'll let you guys know how I've been hinting that something like this was bound to happen because I've made several videos about IGC and how there was a lot of things going on with that company that just did not make sense. So let's get straight to the article and the article is called questionable pot company India globalization capital to have trading suspended well before we get started I would like to ask you guys to please give me a like it really helps my channel and it will push me to make more videos so let's try to get this video to 100 likes so yes IGC might get delisted from the New York Stock Exchange so the NYSE American ice stock exchange said Monday that it will begin proceedings to delist the common stock of India globalization capitals Inc IGC so IGC today actually the trade has been halted for IGC you're not able to trade it it has moved 0% today because IGC shares have been halted and that company stock on the New York Stock Exchange American will be suspended immediately because it has substantially discontinued the business that it conducted at the time it was listed or admitted to trading and has become engaged in ventures or promotions which have not developed to a commercial stage or the success of which is problematical According to the press release, in addition, because the exchange believes the company or its management have engaged in operations which, in the opinion of the exchange, are contrary to the public's interest, it is necessary and appropriate for the protection of investors to immediately suspend trading in the company's common stock. So the New York Stock Exchange American will apply to Securities and Exchange Commission to delist the company's common stock upon completion of all applicable procedures, including any appeal by IGC of the decision. IGC enjoyed a huge jump after announcing a planned line of CBD-infused drinks which contained ingredients of cannabis that are said to have health benefits, but the company had several red flags. So that's it for this article. Now I'm going to give you guys my opinion. So if you guys have been following my channel for quite some time, um, let's see if I could actually go straight into my channel right now and I'll show you guys. So if you guys have been following my channel for quite some time, then you will realize that I've been very skeptical about IGC. I've seen a lot of red flags with this company and I've made a lot of videos pretty much warning everyone about this company. So there's um, my last video right here called IGC stock crashes is IGC a scam news so buy or sell so in this in this video I'll go, I'll leave the link right around right at the top corner you guys can watch it if you want in this video I pretty much spoke about all the red flags about the company for example they had a headquarters in Malaysia that was supposed to be their marijuana headquarters and if you do some research it's actually illegal to possess any marijuana in Malaysia and you can actually get a death sentence if you're caught with marijuana in Malaysia so that's that was one huge red flag on top of that the CEO of IGC um, many many news reporters many companies have tried to interview him and he's pretty much never responded he might have responded with emails saying, oh, I'll respond to you as soon as I can and, and never got a response from him. And on top of that, if you Google a bunch of headquarters of this company, you will realize that all these headquarters, they look ghetto. They don't look like a business. So there was just a lot of red flags about this company and not to mention the volatility and the numbers just did not match. That was one video. Another video that I made about IGC was right here. And this was on October 1st. This was actually when IGC was very close to its peak. I think they were about to hit 13 or $15. And um, in this video was my first warning about IGC. And I started adding up some numbers. I, I, I looked at their, um, their, rev, their market cap, their revenue. Their, they had no earnings. None of it made sense to me. It just didn't look good. I, I know the marijuana was all about hype. But this this company just had too much hype with no numbers to back it up. So that was one of my videos where I spoke about IGC. That was pretty much my very first warning about IGC. And that was on October 1st. And if you look at the IGC charts, let's get rid of this. And if you guys look at the IGC charts, if we go right here to October 1st, um, right here, October 1st, pretty much that's where I warned you guys. And right 
Uh, let's make that bigger so you guys could see it. Maybe a half hour chart, so it's more. So right here, October 1st, the, no, right here is October 1st. So I pretty much started warning you guys around here. So let's put a little circle here. So right here, so if you guys look at this chart around October 1st, which is around here, I made that video right here. I made this video. So around October 1st, I made this video right here. This was October 1st. I made this video. And if you guys look at that chart on October 1st, um, that's pretty much since IGC has had their massive, massive, massive sell off. Yes, they had a nice little run up where which was perfect for swing traders. But this company has been downtrending and selling off ever since. And after today's news, IGC is already in the process of being delisted from the New York Stock Exchange. So I really hope um, there aren't a lot of people that invested a lot of money into this company because from the looks of it, you will not get your money back. I, I honestly don't know how what happens with your remaining with the remainder of your shares. I I honestly think everything gets lost at this point since this company is getting delisted. I will give this company some credit though because they are really good at jumping onto trends and even though most likely 99% this company was a scam, they knew how to take advantage of any trend. For example, let's go back to 2017 and this was uh, when crypto and Bitcoin and all that stuff was blowing up and prior to this uh, IGC was a penny stock as you can see here it was trading around 30 cents and the moment they announced and pretty much around this time they announced that they were going to get into blockchain and just like that IGC went over a dollar and that kind of sparked a growth so around 2017 the end of 2017 beginning of 2018 before uh, crypto had that massive crash uh, IGC made some sort of announcement that they were getting into blockchain and just like that IGC spiked and they they went from a penny stock to trading for a dollar and <clears throat> it doesn't end there so obviously if you know IGC today if you if you talk about IGC today so as you can see right here back in uh, 2017 it spiked up to a little bit over a dollar it made that announcement it made that announcement that they were going to get into blockchain and it spiked up right here and then once um the marijuana sector started getting hot and this was 2018 this year around september they started making some movements into the marijuana sector they went from being a penny stock to trading over a dollar and then before you know it they've made an announcement that they were that they were getting into cb into cbd and then that's what caused this massive push right here so IB, IGC has pretty much jumped from trend to trend they went from blockchain right here to marijuana to CBD and now they're getting shut down you can only scam the system for so long before you get caught and don't get me wrong the owners of this company they probably they're probably the reason why we've had massive sell-offs why we've had sell-offs here sell-offs here they've taken their money and they've ran with it they so the owners hope i don't know if they're going to face jail time we're going to see how this story unfolds but igc just had red flags everywhere after reading that article it looks like igc is going down to zero igc will get delisted that's one thing you need to learn you can't really speculate on a company even though it has had a massive run you can't just go into that company because of the fear of missing out you can't do that because you get burned if you if you held on to igc since it was above ten dollars hoping that it would go back up that really sucks and I, i'm sorry for that but sometimes you got to look at at a company and if there's too many red flags you just gotta you can't you gotta stay away from that company and that's what happened with me i saw that company i i love swing trading i saw a lot of potential to swing trade with this company but i didn't i didn't pull the trigger mostly because this company had too much red flags and let's start off with my very first video of igc my very very first igc video was on september 28th right here meaning what was the hottest marijuana stock i noticed igc was was uptrending and i pretty much called this video out on september 20 no i called this company out on september 28th and if you guys see right here on the chart right here september 28 igc was around here 
So don't get me wrong. Like I called this right. I called this on September 28th, which was around here, which was the hottest stock. And pretty much in that, in, in like three days, this company went up over 100%. And then on October 1st, like I just showed you guys, I, I, I looked more into this company because I did not believe that one of the companies I called out literally in three days went up over 100%. I think it was even, I don't even know. It went up over 100%. That's all I know. And then on October 1st, which was around here, the company, I called it out and said that there's a lot of suspicious things going on. And then boom, just like that. And today, today right here, it looks like IGC will be delisted from the New York Stock Exchange. Um, I'll try to keep you guys updated. We'll see how this company plays out. But as of now, it looks very ugly for IGC. It looks very bad. So if you're an IGC shareholder, I can't really advise you to do anything. But if I was holding on to IGC shares, I would find a way to try to just sell. I don't even think you could sell at this point because the company is delisted. So it's no longer trading. So try to do anything you can to get your money back whatever is left of it best of luck guys thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave me a like and if you're not subscribed yet don't forget to hit that notification bell and smash that subscribe button i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye